Hello friends and old friends and new friends and welcome to the Handmaidens. Today we're going to do something that has been driving me crazy. Um, we're going to tea stain, coffee stain some silk flowers. Do you know that I spent, oh, a good part of two, three days scanning the internet everywhere I could to see if I, if it was possible to do it. And um, apparently you can, you know, what I found is there was no definitive answer. He, most resources said that you could do organic uh, materials, cottons and, and um, wool and linen and, and certain fabrics like that. But it said not for synthetics. Well, trust me, I've got some fake flowers here. And they are not organic. These are as synthetic as you get. Um, what happened was I was in the basement and I found some vases that I had in the past. And I wanted to use them. But I didn't have anything to put in them because it is too early for flowers in my garden. So I said, well, I'll just go pick up, against my better judgment, some flowers. And I'll get something in the romantic season. So I said, well, I'll get some white roses and I'll get some white peonies. And, and I got them in the house, and they looked absolutely ridiculous. Um, white in my house, because my house is old and, and crumbly and vintage-y and, and, you know, um, it just stood out like, whoa, we're really fake flowers here. And I'm like, okay, that's not going to do. I need to tone those babies down. Now, I like the color white, um, just not in my in my life. E Vanilla is like the whitest I really want to get. I like cream. I like antique white. I like uh, ivory. I like beige and all those sorts of toned down things. You know, white represents um, youth and purity and and uh, um, I don't know new beginnings and. Baby, that ship has sailed. I am vintage and I'm proud of it. And you know what? Even when I was young, I was vintage. I was a weirdo, um, kind of little girl who only liked old things and old lace and old, old photographs and things like that. To me, that's true. Oh, romance and nostalgia. And I love that. And you'll see me refer to that. That's that's what I want to be as a handmaid and getting back to the old ways, even though I'm already old. Um, so anyhow, so I said, well, if you guys aren't going to tell me if I can do, dye a flower and I saw all sorts of things like spray painting it. Good Lord, have mercy. I'm not doing all that. Yeah, I'll wait for spring if that's the case. Um, it, and I am, I am trying to grow an amaryllis. Um, uh, Laura's mother-in-law told me, hey, get a little flower in your house. But I waited for Christ and I didn't wait too long to get it in the dirt. So by the time it comes up out of the dirt, I'll probably have flowers coming up in my garden. Um, and so I didn't want to use any of sort of my dried herbs. That, that would look a little, a little sketchy. But anyhow, so I said, the only way to find out is to try it. You know, what, what do you have to lose? A dollar store flower? So, um, yeah, you know, this is great. This is great if you're being baptized or getting married or having your first communion or what have you, yada, yada, yada. This isn't great for me and still winter and I want things warm toned. So I took one and I was very generous with my cup of coffee today. And I said, instead of dunking a donut in it, which sounds absolutely fabulous, I'm going to dunk a flower in it. And look what happened. I hope, I'm hoping, I'm praying. Can you tell in the camera the difference? Can you see that? Can you see the color? Yeah. Can you see it, Mondo? Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look how all I did was go dunk, dunky, dunk, 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 and it came out. Now, I don't know what the tea stains. I got some peonies here, which aren't as offensive as the white roses were. These have like some really fake pink tips on them. I don't want that. It's lovely for some. If you've got a really, you are got a brand new house and it's all white and clean and immaculate, go for it. I, it ain't my house. Let me tell you what. Okay. So, so I took this and I just donked it in and, um, let's see how many I've got here. I've got, I've got 
four different teas. Well, no, this one I'm drinking. I'm sorry. This is my, my tea. <laughs> We're not dunking in that one. Mmm. Nothing like a good cup of tea. Um, so, um, I will experiment to see the different colors. And then I'll know for sure. And uh, they said something. Take the flowers off the little fake stems. I'm not doing that. Once I take them off, I'm going to lose them. So, I just dipped, dipped it in. Now, here's one that's not dipped in. And um, I don't, well, let me try a tea one. Okay, so we've got hibiscus tea. I've got English breakfast. I've got dandelion. And, of course, you know, the hibiscus and the dandelion aren't really teas. They're herbal drinks. And this is a red tea that I'm drinking. Um, uh, how do you say that? Pure... Rubo, R O O I B O S. You know what? I notice on YouTube videos there's a whole bunch of words I don't know how to pronounce because I've only seen them in in um when I read them I've never heard them so it seems like do you ever have that problem or is that just me? You know I have lots of problems other people don't have. Okay, so let's see what the teas do. Uh, <coughs> the coffee I just love. Okay, so I've established that. I do have a cup of coffee here. Um, well, here I'm going to take one, and I'm going to try. Now, the hibiscus might be too pink. I don't know. So I'm going to dunk it in in the hibiscus tea. This is fun because this is like an experiment and see what, oh, that is very pink. Look at that. That quick. Pink, 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 pink. What if I take the pink? <coughs> and go back in the cough. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> go back. Oh, that's pretty though. That's like a pale pink, not obnoxious pink. Well, that's kind of nice together. But what if I dunk the pink back in the coffee and see what happens here? Oh, that really, that really stuck. I think we lost all that pink. Oh, okay. Now, what if we go back in the pink? Let's see what happens. Da 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 da. There, now we got a pink and a brownish there. That looks kind of antique -y. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Of course, I dried them one at a time, but we're experimenting here. Uh, let's see what we got next. We have the English breakfast. So let's go in the English breakfast and see what happens. Now, I don't know. I've never been to England, but I was watching a show. Um, oh, what were we watching? Um... Oh, it was Batman's uh, Pennyworth. Pennyworth. Love that show, by the way. Pennyworth. And it's uh, Batman's um, butler when he was young. And every, every time you turn around, everyone's like, put on a kettle, put on a kettle. And they make some jokes about, don't, don't, um, I hope it's not, um, Oh, now I can't remember, but I think they were drinking that they like the English breakfast because there's some other tea they don't consider teas. If you know about etiquette, what, what the British truly consider as a proper tea, let me know. I'd love to know. I'd like to have a nice tea party and throw and serve the proper tea. Okay, so let's see what happened here. Now, that's what I was hoping. That gives it just a little bit of a more of a vanilla flavor not flavor color more can you see you see it's just does it show just a hint just an off white compared to white white off white i bet you i don't have the right lighting I'm, that's that would really stink if i'm doing all this and you can't mm -hmm. see but i like that because that looks like like a winter white okay what do we got next We've got roasted dandelion. Maybe that might be giving me that, just making it yellowish, but not too yellow. Too yellow. You could probably soak them in there. Do not now. There's some some places I see putting salt in there. It's sort of like, you know, and then vinegar to hold it. I'm never going to launder these flowers. <clears throat> So then I don't have to worry about the flowers staying. There seems to be, you know what? That's a little bit good, but not great. I kind of like, 
I, I quite frankly, I like the coffee the best. But there's a little bit. That takes away a little of the starkness. Let's go and the pink one's kind of, that's amazing though, right? That one's amazing. So we're going to go back in some coffee. That works really quick. Yep. And maybe another pink one. There we go. Okay. All right. This is starting, bouquet is starting to look vintagey like I had wanted. And I think we'll try another. Do this English breakfast. Maybe it's going to stay longer, you know? We'll mix that in with the dandelion to get maybe a more of an off-white. How's that bouquet looking? Can you see? Ah, I like the coffee, folks. I like the coffee, I think. Which goes to figure. I like that a lot. So I'm just going to put them in there. Beautiful. They look Vintagey to me. This one doesn't. This one looks too white, too white and pink. Hold on, just like that. There you go. Well, now that pink guy looks like he's sticking out too much. We got. Did I get you? Did I get the camera? Here we go. Can we see in here? Are you seeing inside what I'm doing? Just st sticking them in. There we go. And I'm going to set them here to dry on some paper towels for a second. Oh, yes. They look much better. Much better. Let me just take off the excess. Let's see what these peonies look like with a little... Maybe I'll, that, they could be pink. Push them right in there. Probably not good for my fingers. Oh, yes. Yes. Beautiful. They look natural, like just the color blush. I love that. Not all white. When they do, for whatever reason, when they do pink flowers in the in the dollar stores, they make them like a hot pink. That is not what you see in nature. Though I have seen, when I grew something that came out really bright colors like that, I forget what flower it was. There were some annuals I had. I would like to grow more flowers. Do you grow flowers? Are you looking forward to spring already? Huh? Have you had enough of winter? I haven't. I'm quite content. In fact, I need some more snow because if we don't have a lot more snow, we're not going to have a lot of flowers. Okay, people? Let's get serious. We either need rain or snow. We need water. We're going to have a desert. Not that people, people that live in the desert, that's something different. They might like that. Let's put a few little... I don't know if you can really have a brown peony, but we'll try it. <laughs> We're inventing something. Making a mess here, folks. Making a mess. But they're going to look great. That's how I drink my coffee. It's usually a mess, too. There we go. A little of everything here. Here we go. Put it in there. Don't get a little up. I have these mats under here so I don't stain my tablecloth, but if I do, then I'll have, be able to use that in some sort of tea stain vintage look. Okay, so we'll set them down. Look at these. Kind of let them drip this way. Get the petals right so you get that nice rim. They'll have to dry out. And when they do, they're going to be fabulous. There we go. So my my bouquet of oh. stark white flowers is now, if you can see, just enchanting. Okay, that's all for now, folks. Hey, if you want to see more like this or more videos on our anything like this, because The Handmaidens consists of three generations of 26, 27, 30 people that are all completely different, but we're all got one thing in common. We like doing stuff handmade, taking it back, making it simple, saving some money, saving the planet, doing whatever, and we do it our way. 
hit subscribe. We'd like to hear from you. We'd like you to join our family. We'd like you to give us some tips and tricks on how you live a slow and simple, cozy life. Okay? Until next time, folks. Toodles! Ta-ta for now!